hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video i am going to give you an update about the sample paper that is released by the cbc in their website cbcacademic.nic.in so they have released the sample paper for all the subjects they have given the sample paper as well as the marking scheme okay so i have made this video to analyze the sample paper for the physics subject okay so this is the physics paper physics sample paper so according to this instruction it says that there are 27 questions okay and these 27 questions will be given in four sections section a b c and d okay section a has it will have five questions of one mark each section b will have seven questions of two marks each section c will have 12 questions of three marks each and section d will have three questions of five marks each okay there are no overall choice okay however internal choice have been provided in two questions of one mark and two questions of two marks four questions of three marks and three questions of five marks weightage okay you have to attempt only one of the choice in such questions the value of the constants are given okay so the section a has one mark question so the first question is state the si unit of electric polarization vector p okay now this question is directly from your ncrt textbook so see this the purpose of giving this sample paper is not that key exactly these questions are going to come in the examination but the purpose is so that the level of difficulty will be maintained in the final examination paper also okay so from this paper you can analyze the level of paper you are going to get in the forthcoming board examination okay then we have defined temperature coefficient of resistivity one more question again direct and text textbook based question name the electromagnetic waves that are widely used as a diagnostic tool in medicine okay now there is a choice with this name the current which can flow even in the absence of electric charge okay then so these questions first question is from chapter electrostatics then the second question is from the chapter current electricity third question the, the question is from electromagnetic waves okay fourth question is the optics based question where you have a graph between sin i sin r and uh, you have to find the ratio of the velocity of light in first medium to velocity of light in the second medium directly snell's snell's law based question this question paper sample paper along with the marking scheme containing the solution you can download from the website this cbcacademic.nic.in and you can have a good look over the papers okay i am just analyzing the questions the level of their questions two particles have equal momenta okay what is the ratio of their de broglie wavelength okay so this is dual nature based question monochromatic light of frequency produced by laser what is the energy of the photon okay from this is einstein's photoelectric equation based question so these are ncert based questions if you have gone through ncert you should not have any problem in solving questions of this difficulty level okay these are not difficult questions a network of resistors is connected to a 16 volt battery with internal resistance compute the equivalent resistance of the network okay so again this is a direct question which can be solved like you can find the equivalent resistance and then you can find the current this current electricity based question again there is an internal choice with a question which is also from current electricity a 9 volt battery is connected in series with a resistor the terminal voltage is given current through the circuit is given what is the internal resistance so this is the you have to use the relation between internal resistance emf and the terminal potential difference again direct textbook based question okay then next question is a potentiometer question you have to identify the fault in the circuit and explain using appropriate equation okay so then you have following circuit is set up meter bit circuit find the value of x okay write the formula used for finding x if the resistance r is increased what will happen to the balancing length okay but see these are not this is not a direct question but is a concept based question based on meter bridge okay so that means understanding of just by hearting the formula will not going to help in your board examination you must have a proper understanding okay the figure shows two sinusoidal curves again see this question 
based on phasor diagram you have the phasor diagram for alternating current flowing through resistor inductor and capacitor in all the cases you have the phase difference of pi by 2 okay this case they have given wherein the phase difference is pi by 4 okay so you will be able to solve this kind of question provided you have good conception skills the major problem is see with question number 8 there is no internal choice that means this question is compulsory okay so see but i will not say that this question is difficult what i am saying is that proper understanding of concepts is very much required okay compare the following wavelength of incident solar radiation absorbed by earth's surface and the radiation re-radiated by the earth tanning effect produced on skin by uv radiation incident directly on the skin and that coming through the glass window okay this is again a textbook based question narrow slit is illuminated by parallel beam of monochromatic light of wavelength lambda equals 6000 angstrom and the angular width of the central maxima is in the resultant diffraction pattern is measured when the slit is next illuminated by wavelength lambda the angular width is decreased by 30 percent calculate the value of the wavelength okay so again this question is from wave optics but you need to have a proper understanding of the angular width concept of angular width this is not direct question you need to have proper conception okay what are universal gates how and can and gate be realized using appropriate combination of nor gates okay this is a standard question quite common this has been repeated in examination board cbc examination also a tv transmission tower antenna is at high 20 meter how much range can it cover if the receiving antenna is at height of 25 meter okay this is a green direct question so these are the two mass question then you have the three mass question section c a particle having a charge of five plus five micro coulomb is initially at rest at the po point on the x-axis the particle begins to move due to the presence of charge capital q that is kept fixed at the origin find the kinetic energy of the particle at the instant it has moved 15 centimeter from the initial position if capital Q is equal to 15 micro coulomb capital Q is equal to minus 15 micro coulomb okay again this is a conceptual based question so you have to use the concept of principle of conservation of energy you will be able to solve such question only when if either you have solved such questions previously or you have a good understanding of principle of conservation of energy okay then you have electric dipole is kept first to the left and then to the right of a negatively charged infinite plane sheet having uniform surface charge density P1 and P2 are the arrows showing the direction of the electric dipole. Identify for the case where the dipole is in stable equilibrium or unstable equilibrium. Justify the answer. Okay. This type of question is given in your NCRT textbook in an example. Not exactly same question, but this type is given. You can have a look on that. Okay. Next, the dipole is kept in a similar way near an infinitely long straight wire. Okay having uniform negative linear charge density now what will happen okay you have to justify about the stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium again this question is i will not say this is a very easy question but you can uh, solve it provided you have gone through your ncrt textbook two material bars a and b of equal area are connected in series to a dc supply a is made of usual resistance wire and B of N type semiconductor. In which bar is the drift speed of free? See, again, highly conceptual question. I will not say this is again an easy question. You need to have a proper understanding of that too. Conductor and semiconductor concept combined. Then you have this derive an expression for velocity of a positive ions passing undeflected through a region where crossed uniform electric field and magnetic field is present okay now this is a, again direct textbook question go through the concept of velocity selector in moving charges magnetism and there is an internal choice with this question a particle of mass m charge q is in motion at, at speed v parallel to straight long conductor carrying current in this case it is parallel so this is the current carrying conductor charge is moving like this find the expression find the magnitude and direction of electric field required so that the particle goes undeflected okay so that means you have to equate the force exerted by this current carrying conductor on the charge to the force exerted by the electric field okay but again this is this question is not there in your ncrt textbook this is again a concept based question a sinusoidal voltage of peak voltage 10 volt is applied to a series lcr in which resistance at capacitance and inductance have the values 
find the peak voltage across inductor at resonance quality factor this is direct formula based question what is the principle of this is three marks question what is the principle of transformer again this is direct question electromagnetic induction explain how laminating of core transformer helps to reduce eddy current why the primary and secondary coil of a transformers are preferably wound on same core okay so that there is no flux loss there is an internal choice along with this question of transformers it tra this 18 question complete three three marks for the entire a b c all the three parts are from the topic transformer this is a choice internal choice show that free oscillations of an lcr circuit sum of energy stored in capacitor and inductor is constant lc oscillation based question draw a label diagram to show the image formation in a refracting type astronomical telescope again direct ncert based question write two drawbacks of refracting type telescopes if you remember just two days back i have given uploaded a video based on this drawbacks of refracting type telescope over reflecting telescope okay define resolving power of telescope write two factors on which it depends a telescope resolves whereas a microscope magnifies justify the statement that this statement Justification of this statement is directly given in your NCRT textbook, chapter wave optics, on the topic of resolving power. Okay. A jar of height H is filled with a transparent liquid. At the center of the jar, on the bottom surface, is a dot. Find the minimum diameter of the disc such that when it is placed on the top surface, symmetrically about the center, the dot is invisible. Okay. So this question is based on the concept of total internal reflection. Such questions are there in your NCRT textbook and other question banks based on CBSE. In photoelectric effect, do all the electrons that absorb a photon come out as photoelectrons irrespective of their location? No, the reason is based on that photoelectric equation given by Einstein's. A source of light, so Einstein photoelectric equation, you have this 3 marks question, there was also a question for 2 marks. A source of light of frequency greater than threshold frequency is placed at a distance of D from the cathode of the photocell. The stopping potential is found to be V. If the distance of the light source is reduced to D by N, N is greater than 1. Explain the changes that are likely to be observed in the photoelectric current in the stopping potential. Again, so here the distance is decrease. So that means there is an increase in intensity. So how is this intensity related to photoelectric current and stopping potential? So those things you have to write. But again, this question is easy question, but you will be able to solve provided you have proper understanding of all the graphs in photoelectric topic go through all the graphs a monochromatic radiation of wavelength excites hydrogen atom from its ground state to higher state how many different spectral lines are possible again this is a direct textbook based questions you which you can solve it very easily binding energy per nucleon versus mass number this graph is given based on the graph you have to okay this is again textbook based question if you have all based questions have been coming in examination so go through this graph properly and understand the concept of the location of materials on this side at the peak and this side okay explain why binding energy of heavy nuclei is low there is an internal choice with this question how are pro how are protons which are positively charged held together inside the nucleus okay then this is the question of nuclear force oh, nuclear force is responsible for this holding the protons Explain the variation of potential energy of pair of nucleons as a function of their separation. State the significance of negative potential energy in this region. So negative potential energy is the responsible for the attractive force. The sinusoidal carrier wave of amplitude AC angular frequency this modulated according to show that the amplitude modulated signal contains three frequencies. Okay, this is directly NCRT based question. In, interestingly, there are some uh, there is no internal choice in few questions which are directly from NCRT. So if you have missed out those questions, you will be in trouble. Okay? So do not leave anything from NCRT. Write the expression for equivalent magnetic moment of a planar current loop. Use the expression to find the magnetic dipole moment of revolving electron. This can be done directly in NCRT based question. A circular, a circular loop of radius r n turns carrying current i is kept in xy plane. It is then subjected to a uniform magnetic field. Obtain the expression for the magnetic potential energy of the coil. Okay. In this question, you first need to calculate the magnetic moment, and then from that you can calculate the magnetic potential energy. Okay. So this is just a formula-based question. A long so there is an internal choice for this five mass question. There is an internal choice. 
a long solenoid with air core has n turns using ampere circuit law derive the expression for magnetic field at the interior point on the axis write an expression for magnetic in intensity in the interior of the solenoid so you have to calculate evaluate so you have to evaluate the expression for magnetic field inside the solenoid and magnetic intensity inside the solenoid then part b a bar of material having magnetic susceptibility chi is now put along the axis near the center of the solenoid which is carrying a dc current after some time the bar is taken out and suspended freely with unspun thread will the bar orient itself in the magnetic meridian if chi is less than 0 if chi is greater than 0 okay so again this question is based on properties of material so from this see, you need to understand that when chi is less than 0 it is diamagnetic when chi is greater than 1000 it is ferromagnetic so how this diamagnetic material or ferromagnetic materials behaves in magnetic field from that you will be able to answer this question so again this question is highly conceptual question I will not say highly conceptual but you need to understand the values is how this chi value affects the magnetic materials nature okay. There are two sets of apparatus YDSC in set A the phase difference between the two waves emanating from slits does not change with time whereas in B the phase difference changes rapidly. What is the dif what difference will be observed in pattern obtained on the screen in the two setups. So in the first setup there is a phase difference so we will get an interference pattern but in the second setup this the phase difference is changing so we will get a uniform light uniform pattern okay. So again this is a concept based question deduce the expression for resultant intensity in both the above mentioned setups A and B assuming that the waves emanating from the two slits have same amplitude A and same wavelength. So this deduction it is given in your NCRT textbook. So this question this part B is directly from NCRT. Two polaroids in a given setup are kept crossed with respect to each other. A third polaroid now put in between these two polaroids can be rotated. Find an expression for dependence of intensity of light. Okay. So this is Malus slope based question from this wave optics topic polarization. So this can be done when this is directly NCRT based question. When an unpolarized light is incident on a plane glass surface, find the expression for angle of incidence so that the reflected and refracted light are it rays are perpendicular to each other. What is the state of polarization of reflected and refracted light under this condition? So this is polarization by reflection and refraction. Draw a circuit diagram for uh, draw a circuit diagram to determine the characteristic of a PNP transistor. Again textbook base question on ele from electronics explain using IV characteristic how the collector current changes with base current this is again textbook base question okay from the chapter electronics semiconductor devices. Why are photodiodes preferably operated under reverse bias condition with okay, this question also have been discussed in my previous video on electronics the, the answer to this question is directly from your instead textbook it is given okay so that means photodiodes this question is directly taken from NCRT the electronics previous question is also directly from NCRT the two optoelectronic devices photodiode and solar cell have same working principle but differ in terms of their process of operation explain the difference again this is a again direct textbook based question so electronics this question is directly from textbook so as you can see see most of the questions they are either textbook based question or the questions core concept of the NCRT textbook okay so that means superficial of reading of NCRT is not going to help you okay still time is left so please go through your textbook properly and uh, one more advice I will give you see this paper is given in your this website the solution is also given try to solve this paper this paper may not come okay but when you solve this questions you will get an idea like level of preparation you need to have the level of questions you need to go through the way you read need to read see when you find some question in this uh, paper and then you look for the answer in your textbook though the answers are there in the website also but I will advise you to look for the answer from the textbook okay then you will do particular statements that are given in your NCRT textbook so I hope this discussion is beneficial to you and you will do well in your forthcoming board examinations so my best wishes